Hello, welcome to the course of AWS Cloud Practitioner Essentials, AWS Shared Responsibility Model under the module AWS Security Essentials. The objectives of this lesson are to learn about AWS Shared Responsibility Model, security of the cloud, security in the cloud, and the IT control of AWS Shared Responsibility Model. So let's get started. Let's start with Amazon Web Services Shared Responsibility Model. Security and compliance is a shared responsibility between the Amazon Web Services and the consumer. This shared model can help relieve customers' operational burden as Amazon Web Services operates, Amazon Web Services manages and controls the components from the host operating system and virtualization layer down to the physical security of the facilities in which the service operates. The customer assumes responsibility and management of the guest operating system, including the updates and security patches, other associated application software, as well as the configuration of the Amazon Web Services provided security group firewall. Also, customers should carefully consider the services that they choose. As the responsibilities vary depending on the services used, the integration of those services into their IT environment and applicable laws and regulations. The nature of this shared responsibility also provides the flexibility and customer control that permits the deployment. Now, as shown in this chart, this differentiation of responsibility is commonly referred to as security of the cloud versus security in the cloud. It is the responsibility of the Amazon Web Services to provide the security of the cloud, whereas customer is responsible for providing the security in the cloud. Security in the cloud provides security to the customer's data, whereas security of the cloud provides security to Amazon Web Services softwares and hardware, Amazon Web Services global infrastructure. We will see in detail about each of these two. Amazon Web Services Responsibility Security of the Cloud Amazon Web Services is responsible for protecting the infrastructure that runs all of the services offered in the Amazon Web Services Cloud. This infrastructure is composed of the hardware, software, networking and facilities that run Amazon Web Services Cloud services. Under software services, can be compute, storage, database, and networking. And hardware includes regions, availability zones, and edge locations. It is customer's responsibility to provide security in the cloud. Okay, It will be determined by the Amazon Web Services cloud services that a customer selects. This determines the amount of configuration work the customer must perform as a part of the security responsibilities. For example, Services such as Amazon EC2, Amazon VPC, and Amazon S3 are categorized as infrastructure as a service and as such require the customer to perform all of the necessary security configurations and management tasks. If a customer deploys an Amazon EC2 instance, they are responsible for management of the guest operating system. Any application software or utilities installed by the customer on the instances and the configuration of the Amazon Web Services provided firewall on each instance. Okay, now this customer or Amazon Web Services shared responsibility model also extends to IT controls. Just as the responsibility to operate the IT environment is shared between the Amazon Web Services and its customers, so is the management, operation, and verification of the IT controls shared. AWS can help relieve customer burden of operating controls by managing those controls associated with the physical infrastructure deployed in the AWS environment that may previously have been managed by the customer. Now, there are some examples of control that are managed by AWS and AWS customers and or both. So, for example, there are, uh, like we can see, inherited controls. Now, the controls which you as a customer fully inherits from the Amazon Web Services, these are the inherited controls. Okay, 
Now these are physical and environmental controls. And then there are some controls which are customer specific. So the controls which are solely the responsibility of the customer based on the application they are deploying within the Amazon Web Services are the customer specific controls. Okay. So services and communication protection or zone security which may require you to route or zone data within specific security requirements. The last type of control is the shared controls. These are the controls which apply to both the infrastructure layer and the customer layer, but in completely separate contexts and perspectives. In a shared control, AWS provides the requirements for the infrastructure and the customer must provide their own control implementation within their use of uh, AWS services. Now there are some examples like the patch management. So Amazon Web Services is responsible for patching and fixing flaws within the infrastructure. But the customers are responsible for patching their guest operating systems and applications. Then there is configuration management. So AWS maintains the configuration of its infrastructure devices, but a customer is responsible for configuring their own guest operating system, databases and applications. Okay. Then there is awareness and training. So AWS trains AWS employees worldwide, but a customer must train their own employees, right? Thank you.